You've probably noticed that the XML that's returned from the server is not really fit for human consumption. This video is brought to you by Abby Pies Academy. It's not in a readable form. So our job as application developers is to make this more readable for our users. Now you can see here this array of station objects returns all of these object station objects or contains them rather. So we're gonna to wanna to loop through all of these and get the information we want out of them, such as the station description, which is the name of the station. So here in the code, assuming our ready state is four and our XML HTTP status is 200, we're going to go ahead and take what is returned, which is XML HTTP dot response XML dot document element and put that in a variable called the XML. Now, if you're wondering what document element is, that's this array of station. So we're essentially bypassing the root element and getting an array of object stations. Now, what I wanna get out of this is the station description. So in the if statement here, we're gonna create a loop. And we're gonna loop through the entire XML using its length to know when to stop the actual loop. Now, each one of the station elements will come through, this will be index zero, this will be index one, this will be index two, et cetera. So if we go all the way through, we can access each of them. So we'll get the station name from the XML, and then we have our iterator. So that's gonna tell us which one we're on. And then in that particular one, we're gonna use get elements by tag name, and we want the station description element sub zero, because get elements by tag name returns an array of we only want one item, so it's gonna be sub zero. And then from that, we're gonna get the first child node value. So this looks really complicated, but if you break it down, it's not. Remember the XML I is gonna show us which XML node we're on. So we can grab any of these XML nodes starting with zero. And then make this possible for you to see it a little better here. From that node, we're gonna get the elements by tag name station description. That's this guy. Now get elements by tag name returns an array. So this is always gonna be zero. We're gonna get the first child of that and return the node value, which in this case is Rahaney. So that's how we'll get each station name. And let's go ahead and put all these in this result div. So we're gonna get, not get random values, but get element by ID results. And we're gonna set the inner HTML to add the station name that we've just extracted and a break. All right, let's see if this works or if we need to do some debugging. So we'll click our lightning bolt here. And let's take a quick look at our developer tools. All right, no warnings, no errors, but no results, which means we probably need to take a closer look at this and see exactly what's happening. I'm gonna add to this, get elements by tag name and let's try getting all of the object station elements. So we may have been one level off here. And now let's try and run this again. Now we've got 32 and we've got all of our names of the stations. All right, so we were able to figure out the error here and the error was quite simply that I had forgotten to get all of the object station elements 
all of these guys here. Now that we've got them all, those are all in the XML and we can loop through them. You've also now got a hint as, how, as far as how to debug these types of problems. All right, let's get a little more information here from the XML. Let's get the station latitude and longitude and then the station ID. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're going to get now the latitude is the XML sub I, so we know which one we're on, get elements by tag name. And this time we want not object station, but we want station latitude. So now we've got station latitude, sub zero, first child, node value. So we can use a little copy and paste to speed this up. Longitude, and this time station longitude. And this of course comes right from the XML. And then finally, station ID. And you can always look at the XML station ID right there. So we're getting all this information. So now we can figure out exactly how we want to output it. So I'm going to change this a little bit. And we're simply going to call this out and we're going to build an out variable that has our output. Because you don't want to call document get element by ID inner HTML too many times. It's actually slower. So our out variable will take first our station name. And a break. And then we'll add to that our latitude and that's going to be in lat and we'll add a break to go to the next line and then our longitude once you do this a few times you'll really get the hang of it this is not terribly difficult all right because it's the same pattern every single time so let's add to this the station ID. And that's stored in the station ID variable. And we probably should add another break there to go to the next line. So we're going to create this out variable and then put all the information in the result div. Let's see how that worked out. All right, we got Kikul and we've got the latitude and longitude and then the station ID. And let's just change this to plus equals because we don't want to always replace what's in there. We want to see all of them. And there you go. There's all of our stations and their latitude and longitude. So in this segment, we learned how to look at the XML, how to loop through the repeating element by using get elements by tag name and a for loop, and then we got each piece of data and output it. This takes a little practice, but luckily there's loads of web services out there you can use to create a result.